how are we to live a righteous life? We are to follow Christ's example in this way, and at first is intellectually. We are to be learners and be students. In your schools, take it seriously and grow in wisdom. Grow in what you are learning in the classroom. Grow in what you are learning here at church. Read your Bibles. Get to know what God's Word says. Grow in this capacity of intellectual prowess. That's what Christ did. And how else did Christ grow? This is something that's going to be natural. Christ grew physically. Okay, Don't just act like a, a baby and a child for all the days of your life. You can help out around the household. Okay, You're getting stronger. You're getting faster. You're getting smarter. If you're growing, you can help out. Don't just make your dad carry all the heavy things. You can carry some heavy things too. Don't just let your mom do everything around the house, but you can pitch in too. Physically, you should be growing, and it should look different in your home where you have a sense of ownership too. That's what Christ showed us. You are to grow also spiritually. Don't just come here because your parents come here. But take some investment. Start to serve. Start to look for opportunities to love other people. And you are to grow spiritually. And this is what we see in Christ. And fourthly, grow socially. Christ was growing with God and all men. You should have a level of respect with everyone. People should know that, yeah, I can hang out with this person. Yeah, this person is respectful. This person is uh, someone who fears God. I can talk to this person. I can relate to them. You should have that type of standing and status in life. You shouldn't be that person that nobody wants to talk to because you're always blowing up at them. You shouldn't be that person that nobody wants to talk to because you're just never there. But you are to grow socially with God and all men. And this is what we see in the example of Christ. It starts with you today.